Hey everyone, this is Eric Beidelman from Chrome Developer Relations. We've been working hard on the HTML5 slide deck for this year's Google I.O. And I wanted to give you sort of a high-level overview of the features we added uh, per the speaker's request from last year and also explain how to develop on it. It's a little bit different than last year's deck. So this is what it looks like. This has got the Google Developer's branding um, and you can see that I'm running this from just locally so it's very easy to develop on. We had some cool little effects like when the slides load in, there's a little bit of a, a transition in. Um, but this works on um, various browsers. So this works on Chrome. I'm running in Canary. This works on Firefox. Uh, this also works in Safari very well. And I have iOS as well. So we added Touch. And it works relatively well on, on the phone. So let's just run through this. Um, of course, keyboard enabled. The slides don't transition in from side to side like they did last year. Instead, they fade in. So that's very much of a, a keynote type effect. And you can see nice little transitions. Um, some of the things about the deck are that you can highly you can customize it. So, for instance, the title and your name and whatnot. Uh, there's a configuration JSON file that you can just change really quickly, and the slide is slides pick those up. Uh, here's what some sides with bullets look like, and you can see there's some numbering in the corner. Um, in the CSS, you can change the social, the hashtag down here to whatever you want it to be. Uh, we have things like highlighting code snippets. I'll show you that in a second. There's speaker notes, uh, full screen for uh, full screen viewing. So pressing the F key will take me into full screen, and pressing F again will take me out of full screen. And then escape it toggles, toggles all those goodies on. Uh, excuse me, off. We also have uh, builds, but we also have builds that fade out as you sort of uh, go through the the building of the slides. So if I hover over these, I can then show people the importance. So those are bullets with builds. Example of a slide with smaller fonts. So by default, since this is a web app, um, all links open in a separate tab. Uh, you can turn that off by setting a target on the link itself. So that's just kind of a nice to have. Uh, here's an example with code. Um, so this is again taken from the uh, Keynote and PowerPoint templates. But example of the code, um, it's really easy to show what type of language it is. Nice code highlighting. Uh, another nice feature is if you press H, there's sort of toggles on the important parts of the code. So H in and out will toggle on anything wrapped in a B tag to show important code. And then when I advance, um, that's going to go away. So you can see that I'm not leaving uh, those portions highlighted. It's smart enough to toggle that off for me when I advance the slide deck. Another example of some smaller code uh, snippets. Speaker notes <clears throat> are pretty cool. So if you have extra information that you want to embed in your, in your slide, um, mainly for after the fact, so when you upload these later on, uh, pressing P, if you've defined speaker notes on that slide, will sort of transition up speaker notes. And so then you can include things like links and uh, important points about maybe caveats about the slide and what you're talking about. It's important to know that only happens on a slide with notes. So I'm pressing P right now, and there's no notes, so no speaker notes are sliding up. But this one does have speaker notes. So that's speaker notes. Uh, presenter mode is a new feature this year, um, being able to present on one screen and show the content on the other. I'm going to come back to this. This is a pretty cool feature. Uh, here's an example with, a, with an image, and it's got a nice little reflex, so we have some cool effects that you can put on. Centered content horizontally and vertically is pretty important. We made that really easy. Example table styling. Here's another table with smaller text. Another table, different uh, different layout. Various uh, slide colors you can take advantage of. So this follows the color scheme of our branding. Um, also with things like centering text and some nice styling for buttons and just general styling in general. Here's a segue slide. So you saw that little transitor come in. Uh, if you need a segue slide, an example of a full image with an optional header at the top here. A quote slide. 
here's a slide with an iframe. So this iframe loaded while I was on the last slide. Um, so it was immediately presented to me. So we're dynamically loading iframes, so we're not slowing anyone down and transitioning in. That was a feature request from last year. An example of an iframe that takes up the entire slide. And lastly, uh, the thank you slide. So again, this is one of those that's really customizable. Uh, nothing you have to change in the markup, it's all changed in this config JSON file. And then everything else is sort of laid out in the slide for you. And then here's our, here's our capper slide. So, uh, you know, let me show you a, a really cool feature that we've been working on called presenter mode. And basically what that is, is, um, well, I'll go back to the slide. Presenter mode is the ability to um, present the slides from one window and have them change in the other window. So um, basically what you do is you add this present me equals true to the URL to enable this mode. So I can uh, click this and it'll do that for me right now. So this setting is persistent. Um, if I refresh the original slide deck, let me close this window and refresh, it's going to reopen this presenter mode for me. And I can toggle that off by using the present me equals false. So just to show you this, um, blue means you're in, in presenter mode. And uh, I can advance through this just as you'd expect. So imagine my blue uh, slide deck is on one screen and the top window is on the other screen. So I'm advancing through this and these, uh, these two windows are communicating together, which is pretty cool. It's important to note that um, the top these two slides here, the presenter mode, is completely read-only. So I can't select this text here, can't select this text. Um, I can't click links in this. This was sort of what you would expect in a keynote presentation mode. Um, but of course I can click links in the main slide deck if I went over to that one. But uh, I can toggle on code. Um, so all the keyboard events still work. If I press H, the main slide deck and my presenter presenter mode slide deck change. Uh, here's the example of what happens when you're presenting and you have speaker notes. So in presenter mode, uh, I get the speaker notes at the bottom here and they're actually sort of invisible to the, uh, the, the folks that are seeing the presentation. So this is sort of how you can remind yourself to say certain things. Um, in this section I can click links, I can have interactivity. Remember in this section I can't. In this I can, if I want to bring up links, say something, I click that, and that opens in the main window there. I believe if I go over here and press uh, P, yeah, so in the main window, speaker notes are off when I'm sort of in this presenter mode, uh, but here they're on, so I'm seeing those by default. If I want to, I can press P in this presenter mode and sort of transition back to the normal view. Um, just in case if you wanted to do that, but normally you'll probably be in uh, presenter mode. So that's just pressing P again. You get sort of a different effect if you're in presenter mode. Uh, so that's presenter mode. Again, you can click off if you want to using present me equals false. Uh, just one other thing I wanted to point out that we're developing locally. Um, but there is a nice little script in the project root. There's a serve.js that allows you to run this thing inside of a web server if you needed to um, for testing or whatnot. Uh, and just to show you this working on mobile, um, here's what it looks like on mobile. So pretty good. Uh, touch events are working. Looks like the emulator has a little bit of a glitch. But for the most part, uh, everything is there as you'd expect. We've tested this on um, an iPhone 4 and also Chrome for Android, and it works very well. So let us know if you have any questions, if there's any other features we can add. I think this is going to be a uh, you know, really great deck for this year, and hopefully we can reuse this for other uh, Google events in the future. One last thing, I just want to point out that there's a really nice um, readme.html file inside of the main project directory. It explains the slide config, the JSON file that you can use to um, configure the slide deck. Also things like editing the CSS using SAS and Compass. Uh, welcome to use that. If not, that's cool. You don't have to. And then running the slides and also explains a little bit about presenter mode.